and welcome to another Wednesday on the Den. This week live, yay, from Manchester in England. Woohoo! So this week is the week where we talk about how you learned about sex, and very appropriately, I'm on my bed currently. But I have just got back from university, 12 hour day in university, I might add. And I've realised I need to go to Asda and buy guinea pig food. I then need to clean the guinea pig's teeth, but that's beside the point. So how did I learn about sex? Um, I think like most people in the UK, I had sex ed. So that's how I learned about sex, that's how I learned about straight sex at least. Um, and the ins and outs of it, the birds and the bees, I don't think it was that extensive, but you know, high school, biology, what do you expect? Um, you know, obviously as of a certain age, I may have, find, uh, I may have found the joys of, you know, internet related graphical moving pictures, yes. Um, which educated me a lot on the things that I like, don't like, um, what I was interested in, what I wanted to try, mostly. Um, and then, do, and how should I do it, and why should I do it, uh, blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah. Uh, at one point I found my father's printed graphical collection. Um, that was interesting. He also had a couple of old, uh, video tapes of places and things and stuff. Uh, so, yeah, that was an interesting find, obviously straight. Um, I'm not really sure if he knows that I found that, but I did. Yep. Uh, at one point it was in the back of the wardrobe in my mum and dad's bedroom, and then at another point it was in the garage in the back of a filing cabinet. Yeah! You know, whatever a young boy wants to do. The slight little problem was that at this point I probably realised that I was, you know, gay. And uh, I was more interested in what the boys were doing than what the girls were doing. Yeah. It wasn't until, you know, the great install of the internet into Bankfield. Uh, that was the house that I grew up in, in Huddersfield, home for area. And, yeah, that's when I started discovering more things of other varieties of boy on boy kissing and cuddling mm, it's true um so yes uh so why 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 is this video the way it is live on the book as i like to call it the book yep the book um why is it this way well chris is in cheshire oaks that's near chester uh, it's a shopping outlet thing there um opening a new restaurant and he's there for 10 days doing lots and lots of closes uh, and he's got his camera with him because he went to the zoo yesterday. Yay! Uh, but that means that I have no camera. Boo! And we all know what it's like when I do video on my laptop. Dreadful quality. Uh, and doing it on my phone... Well... Yeah, I have... It, my computer has trouble with taking the file and then being able to edit it in Windows Movie Player. So... Therefore, you have a live video, which I'll then try and download and then re-upload onto YouTube. But tomorrow I have presentations at university. That's going to be fun. Um, and, yeah, Pizza Hut Mentals are going to be there. And the BBC is going to be there. Because uh, this is still going on. And then I've got this huge presentation. Big portion of my marks for it. Um, so this evening... Uh, I am going to be <laughs> practicing my 10 minute presentation and try and make sure that it's about nine and a half minutes and that I can get my mouth around all of the words and talk about millennials quite a lot because that's what my presentation is about and I am going to talk about millennials and it's going to be great fun. Millennials, millennials, millennials. Uh, anyone born between 1982 to 2000. It's true. Um, so yes, that's going to be my day tomorrow. And that's my evening tonight. And so because of all of these factors and how many assessments that I've got in, in the next four weeks. Yeah, you're just not getting a video today. You're getting this live thing. Anyway, so I hope you understand 
why you're getting a video. I have obviously talked about the sexual relations and how I found out about sex and we're in the appropriate place. My bed, the lovemaking chamber. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, it's a bit of a mess and there's a cat at the end. But you know what? It's okay. Hi, Ez. How are you? You're looking at me as if I'm scary. That's because I am. Anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your week and I will see you next Wednesday when, hopefully, basically, half of my projects and assignments are done. Yay. Can't wait. I also can't wait till end of tomorrow slash Friday where I can actually think, oh, I can start looking at a holiday and booking fast passes because everyone's going, Aaron, have you done this yet? I'm just like, no. No, I have not. I have not had time. Anyway, see you later, guys. Have a wonderful rest of your week. And wish me good luck for tomorrow because I'm stressing out as fucking hell. Yes. I need to go buy vegetables. I need to brush the guinea pig's teeth. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.